live action. What's your name? Okay, I'm Rory and this is Nadine. And we'll be here to talk about the PYP. <laughs> the International Baccalaureate means um, learning for life, means uh, where learning makes sense. A type of education that is going to create global citizens, children, that as they become adults, we're going to take leading roles in the way that the world uh, will go forward. Le programme du baccalauréat prépare les enfants à leur future vie pour la simple et bonne raison qu'on leur apprend à penser par eux-mêmes euh, et, et à réagir face à des situations dans la vie réelle. The primary years program is um, very special in that it's inquiry based and uh, inquiry based means um, allowing the learner to actually want to learn. The learner becomes responsible for his or her own learning. So it's not what the teacher wants me to do, it's not what my parents want me to do, it's what I want to do. We don't have textbooks in the sort of traditional sense. Uh, a lot of the learning comes from questions that the children have based on a central idea. So if we were studying about machines, we might be looking at how machines make our lives easier and more effective. And then children come up with questions with that. And we take that and say, right, now how are we going to find out about this? And taking responsibility of your own learning means you work hard for it, you um, research, you find out, and you um, act or react accordingly, and the uh, learning that happened to you becomes part of you. The teachers here, they spend more time and, and uh, they, take, um, they make sure people understand what we're doing. When I give the children very open-ended tasks and watch them engage in conversations with each other and how they work cooperatively to find the answer and construct knowledge for themselves, and then they bring it back upon and say, wait a minute, I've done something like this before, and they make those connections, and just seeing their faces and how engaged they are and how eager they are to try these new things is really memorable to me. I like that it really raises the stakes um, on what we expect for children and our belief in the understanding of what they can do. The learner profile is a, a, a set of attributes um, based on values that connect the primary years program and the middle years program and the diploma program around the world. For example, being thinkers and inquirers, risk takers, communicators, caring, reflective, um, all of these are aspects of the learner profile. Uh, thinker means that before you say something, you think because you can't just say something. Sometimes you say it because you don't think. Uh, principle means that uh, you know the difference between right and wrong. I think caring is respecting people and uh, letting people have their say of what they would like to do. Knowledgeable means to know a lot of stuff, but uh, everyone's knowledgeable in their own ways. The kids reflect on what they're doing. Like, uh, in this unit, what I have learned about, they're going to say it their own words. When you see the reflection of the kid, they're not going to be the same. Each one is going to get it from his point of view. I think reflective means looking back on what you did each day. Like my students, for instance, at the end of the day, will reflect and say, what tools have you used this day? And one kid will reflect, I was caring today because these are the things that I did. I was a good communicator today because these are the things that I did. How, how do you develop international mindedness and what is an international, internationally minded person? And the learner profile actually personifies that. All those attributes in the profile are what make an internationally minded person. The primary years program plays a really significant role in preparing children for the middle years program and for the diploma. Um, the exhibition in the primary years program I think sets kids up to um, have the skills and the understanding and also the vision to be to take um, meaningful action in their middle years programs personal project and as well in their extended essays in the diploma program. During this uh, unit of inquiry uh, we have investigated many things, such as the inequity of opportunities, inequity of resources, 
eh, responsibility and ways to overcome poverty. Eh, nosotros quisimos hacer un laberinto eh, reflejando eh, que la vida es complicada y uno tiene que tomar diferentes, eh, eh, diferentes caminos para llegar al mismo destino. I hope you have understood this dramatization because it represents poverty. I, um, I hope you can take action and please don't waste food because some people in the world need it. You see such growth within the students. So, like, it's my second year teaching in the in the program, and the, the first year, you know, I saw what was looked like sort of babies at the start of the year, and then grown into really responsible individuals coming the end of the year. And the children I've worked with that have been through the PYP program have left with a very strong sense of confidence, self-esteem, and a very open mind to understanding and learning overall. Learning all sorts of new stuff every day is just really, really fun for me. I just like learning a lot in school. They try to find out what's good in everyone and bring that up. I think like any teacher, the most enjoyable part of teaching the primary years program is when a child can say, I can do it. And when, no matter where they come from, or what language they speak, that they're able to express themselves, that they feel proud of themselves, that they go home at the end of the day and say, school's brilliant, school's cool. Well, I just like it because I learn stuff and when I, if I don't go to school, I, I will be pretty dumb grown up, so I do <laughs> like going to school and I learn. And it's fun to see my friend again. They get a chance to engage with meaningful concepts and, and they get to develop different skills that will allow them to be human beings who can provoke change and, and challenge the thinking that we have currently in our, in our societies. It's really important that students are be able to go out and find the answers that they need. Um, when they're in the real world, when they have a job, no one's going to tell them the answers. They're going to have to be able to think for themselves and find those answers. So if we teach the children how to find those answers and how to think for themselves, then they're going to be successful in whatever they choose to do.